Welcome for the continuation of waves. We are still in book two work. And uh, I want us to, to check something called progressive waves. Progressive waves. Something called pulses. And finally, what we are calling wave trains. Wave trains. So, Generally, progressive waves, these are waves which move continuously, continually from, from one point. For example, Let's take the example of water waves. So when we have a, a pool of water disturbed at the center, we know that uh, waves will be set from this uh, point. Waves will be generated. Therefore, what you realize is that uh, waves will move from that point you have caused the disturbance and continue moving away from that point where you have caused the disturbance and continue moving progressively. So that is what we call progressive waves, such that from the point of generation of the waves, the waves are continually moving from that point where you've caused the disturbance. So this is what we call progressive the example of water waves. Uh, what we are calling a pulse, we say that a pulse is set up. When, when a particle starts vibrating. Vibrating. So let's take the example of longitudinal waves and transverse waves. So for transverse waves, when a particle covers one oscillation, Let's say it has moved to a crest, then down, again to the mean position. This is one, this is a one oscillation. Therefore, we say that uh, that is a pulse. That is a pulse. And if you continue generating the wave, then it will cover another oscillation. That's another pulse. So just when the particle vibrates, then we say a pulse has been caused. A pulse has been caused. So a pulse can either be for transverse waves or for longitudinal waves, whereby it will be it will be now a reaction because you pull out. Then when you pull it away, when you push it forward we get a reaction, again, we go to a reaction. So you find there is a reaction, a compression, a reaction. Again, if a particle goes through that, we say that that is a pulse which has been caused. Now, continuous pulses in the generation of a wave result to what we call a wave train. So, now continuous generation of waves results to what we are calling a wave train. Therefore, wave trains a wave train is simply continuing the pulses. So, continuous pulses now results to a wave train. Therefore, in this this I want to bring something else which is called the phase and phase and the phase angles. Phase and phase differences. You can say that particles are in phase or <coughs> particles are out of. So if for example we have the let me use the 
the swinging box, basically of a plumb box. So, a paint plumb box tied on a string. Tied on a string. Then we lift it to a certain angle. Then again, we have another one here. Okay. Then we also displace it through a certain angle. And go this. So you find that uh, when you displace them through equal angles, then you release the two pendulums to swing. Hmm? Then you release the two pendulums to swing. As long as you are displacing them to the same direction, then now you release them such that now they will swing in this direction. You will find that if this one is at point X, the other one is at X1, these bobs will swing until they come to pass through point Y at the same time, as long as you have displaced through the same angle. And they will climb again to another point, another maximum point, we can call it Z. And also this one will climb again upwards to a point Z. Therefore you find at any given point, these two pendulum bobs are swinging to the same direction and they are again at the same position. Therefore you find if you are to observe the movement of the bobs at any given point, they are at the same position, going to the same direction. And such particles are said to be in phase. So such particles are said to be in phase. So the particles are said in phase if they are moving in the same direction and are at the same position at any given time. At any given time. Otherwise, we will say that the two objects are out of phase. So, for two particles to be in phase, they must be moving in the same direction and they are at the same position at any given such bobs will be said to be in the phase. So thank you for following. Subscribe to Shifting Grids and share the link. Thank you.